Hi everyone, and welcome to this special video. Today is a special video because I'm going to try and probably fail to uh, talk and share my screen at the same time. Just keep in mind that uh, English is definitely not my first language, so I struggle a little bit, okay? And if I have to work or show my screen at the same time, it's gonna be complicated. But anyway, I really wanted to do this video before I end up not making it. Like, it's what happens most of the time. Uh, but yeah, anyway, today I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, how can I say this? I really want to talk about, like, the issues about Dekazu or, like, add-ons in general uh, lately. And also the reasons of the delays. Uh, because, yes, it is true that in the past, I would say... It's probably gonna be released on April, and then <laughs> look at this. We are like May seven, and it's still not posted. And you know, it's not near to be posted okay, yet. Um. So yeah, the first thing, okay. Uh, we have to go back in time, okay. Where when I s um shared the first uh let's say sneak peek about Dekazu, okay, which was around March twenty. Okay. And it was a huge success because I got a lot of response and a lot of suggestions and all. And I started to do those daily uh, progress videos where I just showed everything that I would work on uh, on a daily basis. Okay, uh, But yeah, and it was really nice because I was able to post every day. Okay, And... Um, yeah, I, because, yeah, uh, just keep in mind that I work alone on add-ons, okay? So it's not like an actual team, okay, uh, when it comes to the add-ons. It's really just me doing this as a hobby, but a hobby that I spend, like, most of my days on this, okay? That's the reason also why I can work fast on it, even if I'm alone. That's mainly the reason. It's because of all the time I spend on this every single day. The other thing is that I try to uh, add more stuff to the game, like sometimes I really have to spend the day just trying something, a prototype, and it w doesn't work, and then I'm just like, okay, well, I'm gonna leave this there for now, and I'm gonna come back on this eventually one day, uh, and yeah, but what happened is that on April um, 25, no, on April 20. Or 19, there was this uh, this update that was supposed to be a huge uh, bug fix and all, but uh, <laughs> it actually brought more bugs to me and some other users. Okay, and especially when it came to the add-ons. Okay, at some point I was not even able to join the game; it would just crash my world and all. And uh, for a few days, maybe one or two. I just started to um, check on internet if there was something on the Jira, which is uh, Mojang Jira. I'm gonna show you a little bit, and I'm really sorry if uh, if um, if I uh, how can I say this? If it's really noisy uh, <laughs> when I tap on my keyboard or all. Uh, I'm really sorry about this. So, you see, this is where you can, like, check and see uh, the bugs that have been uh, posted and the ones that are uh, monitored and all. Uh, but, yeah, there wasn't many stuff about, like, the add-ons or the blocks in the add-on. Uh, but I waited a little bit. And about two days later, I decided to, like, do something about it myself. And that's why I posted something... Uh, about the blocks, okay, I made a little video, I showed Minecraft, but I didn't have any feedback. So, I started to try to maybe, like, analyze different things and try to find the problems myself, okay? And I ended up finding that uh, one of the issue, in fact, was this component, which is Minecraft Break on Push. It is a small component, but it is a nice touch. Well, it was a nice touch to the game before. Why? Because it's a component that allowed the block to get destroyed if a piston pushed it. Just like normal flowers in Minecraft. And yeah, <laughs> you probably guessed it. 
Deco Zoo has a lot of flowers, which means that, yes, uh, I had to test some of the stuff until I found this. And yeah. And for real, the reason why I was able to find it is that there was one of my flower that was working and it's because I didn't put this in it. I forgot about it. But the fact that I forgot about it actually uh, saved me a lot of time because then I realized that, okay, this block doesn't have the component and all the other flowers have it. Okay, so let me remove this and maybe it's gonna work. And it actually worked. Um, and yeah, but the other problem is that I'm going to try to explain this a little bit to you, okay? Back in the days, and I hope it's going to stay this way now, when you had a component that was well written, but that, for example, was not correct. For example, let's say uh, this, okay? Breed is not a component, okay? It's not like the game doesn't recognize it. So back in the days what would happen is that Minecraft would still put your block in the game but this component would be ignored because the real component would not be there which is totally fine and you would just have to go back in your code and fix it a little bit. Brief ability something like this. Uh, well I don't remember exactly what it is but um, but yeah you would just have to fix it and it would be totally fine. Now what happens is that instead, the minute you have something wrong in your code, it just becomes a uh, update block. And I'm going to try to show you this. Um, let's say Minecraft update block. Yeah, exactly this. So sometimes you may see this kind of block in your game, okay, and you're wondering, what is it? <laughs> what is it? Well, that's a block that appears mostly when you don't have a correct model for your block, or now, unfortunately, whenever you have a component that is misspelled, for example, or completely removed, because yes, the break on push that I was talking about earlier, um, like... How can I say this? It was a component before, but then it's for some reason someone removed it at Minecraft. And because of this, every blocks in any add-on that have this component, that still have it, uh, well, you cannot access the blocks because they are just going to look like this kind of block. So it happens for... Uh, for example, I think it's called Nature Spirit or something like this. Uh, so add-ons that have flowers that have the break on push, which means main, well, mostly all of them. Okay, and that's the problem. Now what I did is I I removed it, the component. It's the it's not like a huge thing because as I said, it it's only useful when uh, the block gets pushed by a piston, but at the same time, who is going to put like a piston next to a flower? It's useful when you want to have something like sugarcane or bamboo or cacti um, and just like have thing that gets destroyed and you can farm them. But for decorative flowers, it's not really something useful, okay? And that's why I thought it would not really matter if um, if it was going to be uh, removed, okay? But, as you see, this caused a lot of problem because I spent around four days not really working as much on the add-on. And also, what I did during this time is that I worked on some, <laughs> uh, on some files like structures because now, this is another issue that I really want to talk about, okay? When you see some other creators add-ons, they have structures, okay, um, like trees that are already made and stuff like these, and I don't really have access to this because it's something that is usually on Win, Win 10, I think, uh, edition, so on the computer and all. You can like save a structure block 
in a file and then access it and put it in your add-on. I cannot do this because I'm on mobile, okay? I have an iPhone and I cannot do this. So the only thing I can do is to like literally make myself a uh, NBT file, which is a file that contains some data and all, and place this together and I have to like use, what I do is I use Blockbench, I kind of create the structure in Blockbench so for real, so much more work than uh, than it could be, okay, for real. And I'm gonna show you an ex like a little example. Uh, let's say, okay, you see, I would have to put like all these blocks and create my. Uh, my shape and all and then I would have to like enter some of the values one by one and all and like put some zero and some one and all okay I'm gonna avoid talking about like all of the details but let's just say that it's so much more work and complex and the risk that I have to make some errors or mistakes is huge okay uh, so yeah sometimes I could spend like more than 10 minutes on a file and just because of a little silly mistake it's not perfect in the game and then I have to redo it so yeah and you can guess it when you have a structure that is like let's say 10 blocks of, of, of width and of height uh, it's over a hundred blocks then. like or a hundred data that I have to enter myself and all and it's so much like work uh, but that's how i have to do it because i want to offer structures i want to offer some roots and some branches already made and some structures that you can use uh, because i think it's very important it's something you see in other add-ons and i don't see why you wouldn't have access to this in my add-on so anyway i have to work so much more for something that could be so easy and yeah that's also the reason why i spend some time sometimes but anyway i worked on these for those days and all not like able to go in game at some point i was able to go back in the world and make my test because i have to test the things okay uh but yeah but um what happens is that because of this bug and all it messed up my schedule because let me tell you on april 25 i started some classes okay some you could call it school okay it's a formation if you are interested uh, i follow some course in uh, programmation uh, coding and all okay uh, it's not related to minecraft okay it's really uh, like coding for uh, tons tons of things that I could do like on the computer eventually and that's what I want to do of my life later okay uh, but yeah so of course uh, it takes some time in my days okay because it's like four or five days a week and of course I have some kind of homeworks and some like learning by myself and I'm the kind of person that likes to explore things and go like more in depth okay so Sometimes I can spend like half a day just working on my school things and all. And that's, I think, completely normal and all. So yes, of course, there is a little less time and sometimes a lot less time uh, that is given to the add-on. And I hope you can understand this. But yeah, because the bug literally uh, came out like five days before I started class and as I said I spent like four days because of this it's literally like four days that could have been a lot of work okay and as I said before I would work like all day long on this sometimes more well most of the time I think more than 12 hours a day okay on the add-on no because that's something I'm passionate about okay uh, but yeah this causes a lot of trouble and now my schedule is a lot different because of this okay and that's why i cannot post like every day because it wouldn't be worth it okay sometimes for example there was a day i worked on stairs okay but like you 
probably don't, you can't imagine how like complicated, how complex it is to make stairs for the moment in Minecraft, okay? But I succeeded, okay? After probably like four days, okay, not in a row, but like with some intervals between, I was able to do it. But sometimes, because it's just testing and trying, failing, recoding, making another mistake, get bored and work on other things and all, Sometimes there would be days that I wouldn't have anything to show you because it's basically just coding and just tests. And when I do a video, I want to have at least 30 seconds of uh, of content, maybe. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I thought it would be better to like post every two days like I'm doing currently. And that's the reason why the daily progress are not posted on the actual daily basis okay it's every two days as i say so i think it's still okay i just post two days in the same video and i think it gives a little bit more content and it's easier for me also to track because i'm not as much on youtube as before so uh, i think it's better if i have like one video that i can check for comments and suggestions instead of having two different um, so yeah so basically that's the reason and um, there's a lot of other things that I don't want to, like, involve in all. But, yeah, I hope you understand. Uh, and thank you for your patience. I, I'd i like to say that it's going to be posted this month, but at the same time, it's really hard to, like, have an actual date in mind. And I wouldn't want people to be disappointed if it's not like this. So, um... I work as fast as I can, okay, as I say, I cannot and I do not want to work on this all day long because I have other interesting things to do, other, like, school things and uh, things that I want to explore and make some, like, kind of websites and stuff like this, okay, but, yeah, and I think it's normal to have your hobby and your responsibilities, okay, but, yeah, I'm not gonna talk uh, longer. Uh, I hope it was interesting. I usually uh, don't post these kind of videos because even if I practice my speech, uh, I always end up like not sharing it because I think it's going to be annoying, boring, and people are not going to be interested. But anyway, I thought it could be cool for the people who are interested in the... Uh, I thought it would be nice for you to, uh, well, to know the reasons. So yeah, have a nice day, and i see you in the next video. Uh, and I'm sorry, I know I didn't really show anything on the screen, but uh, anyway, that's, that's it. So, goodbye!